Hi everyone, happy weekend whip. So you might have noticed I didn't do one last week. I've been super busy. The kids were off for two weeks Easter break. They have gone back to school now. So this is probably the first day where I've not actually had to go somewhere. The first day they were back at school I was at the dentist for a filling. So that wasn't really pleasant. It wasn't a good first free day. A kid free day, should we say. So yeah, I'm working on a page in Fragile World. I've done a lot of pages in this book recently. I'm really loving it. And I've been doing them all for um, Colour Me Stress Foods hashtag, which is hashtag Crazy Kirby -a -thon. Pretty sure that's what it is. I keep questioning myself if I'm saying it right, but I'll double check. <laughs> but so yeah, if you're over on Instagram um, and you've done any Kirby pages, just use that hashtag. Or I think she said you can email her your picture if you don't have Instagram. So you can join in that way and then she showcases them at the um, the end of the month on her YouTube channel. So yeah, I've started this Rhino page. So I'm a, I'm clearly a glutton for punishment and I've gone in with an old pencil background on this one. So to start off with, I did use... Oh no, I've got my pencils mixed up, haven't I? Yeah, I did use the Ultramarine as a really, you know, rough base which is all this part you can see here because I'm not sh put any shading into it yet. And then I've just been going in with the Cobalt, cobalt Blue um, just with a bit of shading round. Very, very kind of rough, roughly done, so to speak. So these are the Polychromos pencils that I'm using. And um, yeah, just while I have a chat, I thought I'd do some more shading on here. So I'm just... I'm really roughly doing it and then I might go in with a little bit of blender around the highlighted bits at the end, at the end but we'll not get that far. <laughs> it's only going to be a half an hour video this I think. So yeah, so you might remember from four, five weeks ago now, it may, it may be when it was when my daughter broke her arm. Um, we went back to have another x-ray and check it and... Um, they had a look and the bone hadn't realigned yet but for whatever reason they decided to not put another cast on they decided to put a splint on instead now i don't know i don't know why they did that um i really don't know why because to me the nurse and the doctor were both in the room and the doctor was telling the nurse what to do so basically, if the doctor decided it needed recasting, the nurse would go and recast it. Um, but because he decided they would splint it instead, he told the nurse to get a splint and whatnot. And the nurse's face just looked... You know where you can tell when somebody doesn't agree with what somebody's doing? And they just have this look on the face. Well, the nurse had that look on her face as if she didn't agree with what the doctor was doing. But it was all very subtle, if you know what I mean. But I pick up on things like that. I really pick up on things like that. And then when she came in with the splint, she said to me, she said, I'll pull it as tight as I can, she said, but we don't normally put these on children. She said, and this is the smallest size. And I thought, oh, so I'm right in thinking she, was, she wasn't she was agreeing then if she said we don't normally put these on children because why would they be putting it on my child then? Anyway, so we've got to go back in, they said come back in three weeks time, so we've got another appointment through for, I think it might be the 9th of May, or sometime beginning of May we've got to go back again for another x-ray, and I'm just going to question it when I go back, because they've told her still, because it's not realigned yet, the bone, they have still said, um, don't weight bear on the arm, don't put any weight on the arm, don't try to lift anything with the arm. But because it's not in a full cast now, it is sort of just this splint thing. I did see her trying to climb up on something the other day with that arm. And I thought, she she's just doing it because she's got more limitation in that arm now. She's able to move it a bit more freely because it's not as heavy as a cast. It's not as bulky as a cast. And she's just thinking she can do things that she can't. So that's, in my eyes, that's going to make it worse. And I've told her. I've, you know, I've explained to her, don't do that, don't put any weight on it, don't do this, don't do that. But she's got autism. She's not always going to listen to what I'm saying. So I'm constantly having to just kind of keep my eye on it at the minute. 
but yeah, I'm going to question it when I go back and, and see. We'll see. But yeah, has anybody else's children broke a bone and they've decided to only cast it for four weeks and then put a splint on like that? There's emergency vehicles going past non-stop today. I don't know what's going on. Like, literally, I've heard about 20 today and it's it's only just gone past dinner time. Lunch time, for anyone who's posh. <laughs> Yeah, so that's her um, and she's going on residential as well on Monday. They said they'll they'll tailor the activities to her. You know, she's not going to be using that. Um, there'll be some activities she can't take part in and then some they'll tailor to her, which is good because I didn't, you know, if I'd have had to turn around and say you can't go on your residential, Violet, she would have been heartbroken. So I think she'll just be happy that she's there. You know, even if there's a few things she can't do, I think she'll be happy to be to be there and have the experience. It's like a, it's like having a um, bit of a sleepover as well, isn't it? Because they're there for five days, so it's like having a sleepover with your friends as well. So that that'll be fun for her. But yeah, it's the longest she's ever been away from me. She's not even been away from me for one night, let alone five. But she's so funny. You know why you. You know how, um, what's the word? How honest autistic children are. Because they don't lie. They've not, you know, they just say what they think, autistic children. And she said to me, Mum, she said, I might miss you on the fourth day. <laughs> I thought, oh, only only the fourth day. <laughs> oh, she's, she's funny. She's hilarious without even knowing it. I am just, I've got an idea for these trees as well. Outside my window, I'll put a little clip in actually because I've, I've put a little video clip in in case I decided to do a video on how I do the trees. So I'll put a cl little clip in, but just across the road from my from my house, we've got this, this tree. Now, I don't know what it's called. I might have to Google what the tree's called, but they've got these lovely like white, white flowers on them. And it is absolutely stunning. And um, they've got a few green leaves coming off them as well. Don't know if you can see that from the video that I've put up. But I thought, how lovely would that be to try and recreate that? But not with coloured pencil, because that's too hard for me to try and create white with coloured pencil. I was thinking of some gouache. So I was thinking maybe if I mixed in a little bit of green um, for some areas, for the, for the leaves and then put some sort of colour into the white what what could you use into the white so maybe a really light grey or a really light lavender really really light just a touch and then the bright white right on top and just sort of dot it dot it round and try and recreate that i thought that'd been really nice because i've seen this page done quite a lot um i've seen a lot of pictures crop up on instagram but they've tend to either have um the greens which i do a lot because it's easiest to just go for green green trees so they've either been done with your greens or i have seen a lovely red one where they've done like a red blossom but i've not actually seen it done white it's not to say that it hasn't been done but i just haven't seen any <laughs> so i thought it'd be quite nice to have a go at that And then I was Googling colours of rhinos. <laughs> I always Google nowadays. If it's something realistic, if it's like an animal, then I tend to go for the realistic colours. And I'll Google the colours of the rhinos. Or oh, the elephant. I just did an elephant more recently. Where is my elephant? Is that my elephant? But yeah, that's my elephant. I love how that page came out. Because I was really panicking about these wrinkles in the elephant. I thought that's a lot of shading to try and get that effect. But it was alright. It was alright. I did a wash of um, Prima watercolour first. For the initial grey. And then just went over the top with a pencil. And that tends to work out better. 
easier. Works out easier. So my little one, my littlest little dude, my youngest kiddo, who's four, well he turns five in December, but he's four, he's got his conf it's yeah. My words won't come out, I can't flipping talk. Um, it's been confirmed now that he's got his place, his first choice primary school that I applied for. So that's been confirmed. So he's got in where his two of his siblings go. So in September he'll start there. He's my last baby fit start at school. So they're all growing up now. There's no more babies from here on in. <laughs> here on out, no. No chance. I really do believe that when the moment comes, you know when you you start having children and you almost wonder, well I never really wondered how many children I'd have, I just knew that, I always knew it wasn't the end. When I'd been pregnant and had a baby, I knew that wasn't the last baby I was going to have, sort of thing. But I think when the time is right, you know when it's the last bit, the last one, you sort of know. You come to a point where you're like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't do that again. <laughs> and I'm very much at that point now. I love them. I absolutely adore them, but I'm so glad my fellas had the snip. Because <laughs> I just, yeah. Can't wait for grandkids. But, you know, you can give them back, don't you? But I really do want to be a hands-on grandparent. I've always said that. I've said that to my partner. I've said I want to really help them out. Because I've, I've struggled, to be honest. I've not had too much help, you know, grandparent-wise. And I just want to be that grandparent where they know they don't have to be scared about asking me to have the kids or take them to the park or, you know, I'm just going to do it and, and I'm going to enjoy it. Sort of thing. The weather's coming nice as well, really nice. I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully this weather, because it's nice and sunny, it's a bit windy today, but it's nice and sunny. When the sun hits you, it's warm. So I'm hoping this weather holds up for my daughter's residential. I think it's in... I think it's in Kendall. Someone, somewhere called Kendall or Kent. No, not Kent. Where Kent? Where, where Kendall? I don't know. It's somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere not too far away. So whatever weather we have here is pretty much going to be what it's going to be like, where she's going. But yeah, they got get to do, obviously my daughter won't be able to do it all, but they, um, they've got like an indoor play area, they've got a sensory room, they've got an indoor cave, they've got real caves outside, they've got canoeing, they've got, I think they had like a couple of games type room things as well when I leaked on the website but they've obviously got your arts and crafts as well I think it said something about doing some crafts some sort of crafts so she'll be able to do that luckily it wasn't a, a dominant hand that she that she broke so she could still enjoy all, all the drawings and and whatnot I have been doing so bad on my diet lately as well. I've been going to, an, to like a diet class thing here in the UK. In the past, I lost a stone quite quickly. You know, I found it quite easy. And then the past sort of three weeks, I've been really struggling. But I think it's the stress. <laughs> the stress of the kids. I know it's not an ass thing, Sarah, but <laughs> the stress of the kids, I think it's thrown me off. I just, 
I just go for the sugar foods when I'm stressed out, I really do. Some people go the opposite way, don't they, where they don't, they don't eat when they're stressed, but I go for all the sugar when I'm stressed out, go for the sugar. So the past three weeks, I've not, my man's not been in it, and I've put, yesterday when I got weighed, I've put three pound on. That's two weeks worth. So in two weeks, I've put three pound on. <laughs> so next week, I want that off. I want it off. I want to use another stone, ideally. See another emergency vehicle. What is going on? I mean, I'm on the main road. We get a lot anyway, but today it just seems really excessive. Don't know. What day is it? It's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Friday today. But when this goes, when you're watching this, it'll be Saturday. Saturday. I wanted to leave a bit more of a highlight there, but I think I got carried away talking and just put a bit too much blue in. You can always erase it. I've got a, um, this needable eraser, it's here, here actually. And sometimes you can just, if you just, see, if you just slightly rub over the top, you can get your highlight back. Which, you know, bish bash bash. <laughs> Oh, I keep looking at puppies as well again. I've said this a while ago. I really, really want a, a puppy. A little puppy. But it's not the right time. It's not the right time. I'm not going to get one when it's not the right time. I need um, my um, daughter to be a bit more settled. <laughs> before I take the plunge of a new puppy. But I really, really want one. So cute. Because my mother-in-law's just got one and he's, he's crazy, but he's adorable. He's a loon. When you first walk in the house, he goes crazy. Absolutely crazy. Very excitable. He's a cross between a Jack Russell and a pug. But he very much looks like a Jack Russell. He actually looks like, do you know the um, the film The Mask? That comedy with Jim Curry in it with a green mask. The dog in that, is it called Marlo? The dog in that film. He looks exactly the same as that dog. <laughs> and he's, he's crazy. When that dog puts that mask on, that's what my mother-in-law's dog's like. <laughs> It was my partner what said it first. He was like, yeah, he spits at that dog. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Hopefully as well, where I'm going in with this deep blue, um, right under the trees here, when I, when I do go in with that white gouache, did I say I was going to use gouache? I can't remember if I told you, but I'm going to use gouache. I'm going to go in with that white gouache. Hopefully it'll look really nice over the top of that. Coming over the top of this dirt blue, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but the branch on this one, I'm not... I, I keep thinking I want to put a bit of lavender into the rhino when the branches not not really noticeable not so you think oh god the, the tree is purple not that sort of vibrancy just a little hint a little tinge of it in there if it's going light and dark as well i do have my lamp on but i think it's the position that my desk is in aligned to the window um when the sun comes out and it goes away outside, you can really see the dips on the camera, on the recording. You can see it go light and then dark again on the recording. Can't really do anything about it. It's just this silly weather we have. We can't decide what it wants to do. So I did get the... Hannah Carlson book, the one that was aimed at children, called Callas Party. I did do a flip through on the channel. Um, a few of you weren't aware of that book, 
but I'd seen it a while ago. She did initially bring out the illustrations as part of a children's meal in a restaurant local to where she lives. And then she decided to release a colouring book with them in. But they're very similar to the illustrations in Midnight Masquerade, just not as detailed. The paper quality is not quite as good. But for £7, it's a really nice book. The format's obviously different as well. It's a soft cover rather than a hard cover because it is targeted at children. But yeah, I'm going to pick a page in that after this one and colour it. I really like the tortoise page. You'll have to go and watch the flip through if you've not seen it. There's a tortoise. It's so adorable. It's got like, um, what did it have on top of it? It had some sort of sweet treats on top of its shell. I forgot what exactly it was. Might have been like ice cream or something like that. There's a dog back in the way now outside. I don't know if that'll pick up on camera or not. <laughs> They've trimmed all the trees back around our house. Which is a lot better. A lot better. There was really overhanging the drive where and every time we get slightest bit of wind get massive branches falling on my car. <laughs> so they've trimmed them all back the other week when they came out and they've completely removed one tree that was it was sort of on the border of mine and my neighbour's garden and um, it was knocking that it had completely knocked their fence over. The tree was like leaning onto the fence and it had knocked the fence clean over and the tree was like going in that direction towards their garden from my garden. So the council came out and removed, removed the tree. <laughs> so I think, I think, right, I don't do pencil backgrounds. <laughs> or I say I don't, but I've done quite a few recently. But because it takes forever and you could like, this could take me all in all two hours just to do the pencil background whereas if I got sort of my soft pastels out it would literally take me 10 minutes <laughs> literally and you'll all know if you've used them as well so I question all my um, decisions sometimes in life like why did I start this with pencil why? Because I bought some more fixatives, so I could have done it with soft pastel and fixed it. I got this, um, I get this one off Amazon, the Frisk. It used to come in a different, different packaging. It used to be like a purple, I think it was purple, like a purple sticker. But they've just changed the packaging. It's a bit boring now, to be honest. It's just grey, but it's still Frisk, it says on the bottom. Works just as good as the... Windsor and Newton I did buy the Windsor and Newton one last time just to see if it was any better or anything because I used it for my um, pet portraits and I thought I want quite a good one for when I'm doing my pet portraits but it, in my honest opinion it wasn't any different so didn't see the point in the extra cost so I went back to getting the uh, budget one I don't know what they're supposed to be either. They look like, I don't know, they're really, really thin pieces of branch or something, but they look dangly. They're like, do you actually get that with trees? I'm not sure what it is. Mm. <laughs> I'm really not sure what that is. I've not got a clue. I'm going to put a bit of shadowing underneath it, I think. I think as well, I've got about an hour until I have to do the school run now. I think I'm going to go and put a piece of salmon in the oven, I think. I like just having it because I um, I wrap it up in tin foil and put it in the oven for 20 minutes, my salmon. And then I normally just do a, do a bit of rice and put it on the rice. Now, some people might think that's a bit bland. 
Like with no sauces or anything, but I really like it. I am a bit boring with food. Although we was getting the Hello Fresh um for a while. But I've decided to skip a few. Skip a few weeks. Because there was some recipes that my partner wouldn't touch. She was like, <laughs> you know, they're like a, a, a bit like uh, fussy with the food. But there was one I didn't like, really didn't like actually as well. It had a really strange flavour to it. And I, I didn't like it. But we had, the other night, we had duck with like a honey glaze. Jasmine rice. Um, I had pak choy on it and a cucumber salsa. It was gorgeous. Never ate my tea so fast in all my life. <laughs> but you didn't like the rice, you see. You didn't, you didn't like the jasmine rice. I've never tried duck either. It's the first time I've had duck. Never tried it before because I've always been a bit like... Funny about it. And I don't know why because I eat any other meat. But you just think a duck's a duck and a rabbit's a rabbit. It's a bit more... <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit more obscene. In a weird way. But I'm going to leave this here now for my happy weekend whip. It was just a bit of a catch up about where I've been and the lack of weekend whips last week. <laughs> so, and also this text like i say it takes forever and it is boring to watch it is boring but this is the only whip i've got going at the moment but i am planning on doing that how-to video with the tree i'm not sure when it's going to come because it's going to take me a while to finish this background and i need i need to color the rhino too before i go in with the blossoms on the trees because obviously i need to do these branches um so but it will be coming up on the channel soon it's going to be how to do the blossom sort of blossom tree with the um gouache gouache i'm gonna use so look out for that one do subscribe this to the channel if you're not already and ring the bell so you don't miss the video when it goes up and um, please do drop me a comment down below and hit the thumbs up thanks for staying tuned everyone and i'll see you again soon Bye bye